This is your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Listen, today I got some good news for you guys. I got a course on Node.js, right? And what's cool about it is that I'm giving the first project completely free for you guys to do here on YouTube and try it out. See if it's something that you would like to learn. I'm going to be building two more projects besides this one. I'm going to build an online store and I'm also going to build a service that you can use to make money. Okay, so if you're one of the people that love Laravel, if you're one of the people that love Ruby on Rails, if you love Django, this is the course for you because this is basically Node.js but with a structured framework. It's no longer Wild Wild West, let's pick random libraries, let's pick 30,000 different packages. Let's focus on building applications. So enjoy the next video, guys. <laughs> Hey, I hope you guys enjoy this video that you're about to see now. Just make sure that you subscribe and click on the little bell because that's the only way to get notifications. All right, guys. So now what we're going to do is start our very first project. Okay. And this is how you really learn by building projects. I know it's going to be something very simple, but let's start it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go CD, right? Come back into our projects. And here we're going to say Adonis. Okay, we're going to click there. Now, to create a new application, we're going to say Adonis new and then put in the name of it. So for now, we're just going to say something like Easy, just like that. Let's say Easy. Okay, so what that's going to do is create a new project for us. All right. Let that load a little bit. Okay, cool. So we got that done. All right. Now we're going to go into this location of Yeezy. So we're going to say CD and then change this to the Yeezy folder. Okay, click LS and there you go so we are good okay now the next thing that we're going to do is i'm going to say adonis and then i'm going to put in make controller all right and we're going to say sneakers controller and we're going to choose for HTTP request. Okay. So Adonis automatically changes it to singular to sneaker controller. And that's fine. Okay. So don't worry about it. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to Adam. We're going to open up another project. Okay. Go to projects. Click on Yeezy. Okay. And click open. right put this to the side and there you go so we up and running right now all right now let's go into the resources views we got the welcome page we got the start where we have the routes very first thing that we want to do is we want to stop the server that we got running here press control c we're going to Go back also and change directory into uh, what was it? Easy. Okay. And then here we're going to say, I believe, what was it? Adonis. Can't remember too well. Adonis server serve dash dev. Okay. So Adonis serve dash dash dev. Okay. So that's running our server and we are good to go. Let's refresh this. There you go. So it works. We are good kids. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is basically come here, create some routes. All right. We're going to create a couple of routes and it's going to say something like this uh, 
I'm going to put it in route on uh, sneakers. Okay. Delete this from here. We don't need that. We're going to make this to be a get request. And we are going to pass in the sneakers controller. So sneaker singular controller. All right. Sneaker controller, and we're going to pass in the index. So we're going to have a method called index. We're going to save that. We're going to open up the app, open up controllers, open up sneakers controllers. JS. And here we're going to pass in a new method. We're going to say async. All right. We're going to say async. And here we're going to say index. And there you go. So here we're just going to return for now. We're going to say return all sneakers. Save that. Now, when we go to sneakers, it says all sneakers. So we're fine. Okay, cool. We're going to copy this. And we're going to paste this a few times. Okay. We're going to go back into the documentation of Adonis. And I would just want to show you guys this. Okay. For the routing, you could come here and let's say route resources. We're going to follow this convention. This is something, like I said, that has been used on Ruby on Rails, Laravel, and it just works. Okay. So we have users or let's say sneakers, and that's going to be the index. We're going to have sneakers slash create. That's going to be the create method. We're going to have sneakers for a post method. That's to save, which is a store method. Um, we're going to say users slash ID, and that's going to basically find the specific sneaker that we want. Then we're going to have sneakers slash ID slash edit. We're going to be able to edit that sneaker through a form. And then this is the location where we're going to send that post method to as a put method. Okay. So we're going to send it to here. And when we want to delete one, we're going to just delete by saying sneaker slash uh, the ID. And we're just going to basically do a delete method. Okay. So we got index, create, store, show, edit, update, destroy. Okay, so we're going to do that now. We're going to just add those right here. We're going to say index, create, uh, what was this, store, edit, I believe, uh, yeah, show, edit. So we're going to say show, edit, and we're going to say update and destroy okay so we got one more we're gonna save that now we basically gonna put in create we're just gonna put in for now create one sneaker uh, save one sneaker okay uh, matter of fact is show create page uh, save one sneaker uh, show the one sneaker okay edit page so we should say show page for one sneaker edit page for one sneaker and update is going to be update one sneaker in database and this one's going to be delete one sneaker and database okay so let me see we got the uh 
uh, old sneakers page, uh, show create page, save one sneaker, show page for one sneaker, edit page for one sneaker, update page for one sneaker, uh, in the database, delete one sneaker in the database. Okay, so that's fine. So we are good. We're golden. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing that we did over there, but we're gonna do it here through the routes. Okay, do this like that. I think it's seven. Let me see. Four, three. Okay, so there you go. So we have we're gonna follow the same methods that we see here. So we're gonna say slash sneakers slash create and then we're gonna have users which is for us sneakers so we're gonna do a post method to this so post to sneakers okay then we have what was the other one we got show and edit so we're gonna say id that's a get method. This one is going to be ID slash edit. This one is going to be a put method to this route. And this one is going to be a delete method to this route. So you got put, delete, post. So we're good. Okay, now the next thing that we have to do is make sure we're linking to the right uh, methods in the controller. So to the create, let's create to the save is store to this one is show to this one is edit to this one is update and to this one is destroy I think yeah destroy there you go so we set up our routes we set up everything that we need it and yeah let's start creating the pages now all right so I'm gonna see you guys in the next video bye hey guys this video is brought to you by viewers like you and people that support our website codingphase.com go check it out over 20 courses in there that's gonna guide you to become a developer from the beginning to becoming a pro